Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Girl, God Took Time on You. For those that are new to this channel, my name is Georgette and I just wanted to encourage you today with everything that is going on, with the chaos that is going on, with the uncertainty that's going on, I just wanna encourage you to not have fear. That's our title today. Do not have fear. Turn to your friend and say, girl, don't have fear. Text a friend and say, hey, don't have fear. And we're going to read in this verse that I believe that's going to encourage you today. And it's 1 Timothy 1 verse 7. And it says this, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, a love, and a sound mind. We're going to say that again. For God does, did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, a love, and a sound mind. Why does it say a spirit of fear instead of God doesn't give us fear? Because fear is a spirit. Fear comes from the enemy, but faith comes from God. And right now there is a spirit that is going around the world and it's this virus and it's creating fear among people. But I wanna to talk to you about something that happened back in the day which we know in the Bible, which was the time of Moses. Now, Moses was an Israelite, and the Israelites were being protected by God in a time of plagues. And what God told Moses is say, Hey, Moses, I want you to get a lamb and get the blood of the lamb. And let's put some lipstick. Pretend this is the blood of the lamb. And I'm getting that right. You see that? And he goes, I want you to go to every single door and we're going to use, pretend this is the top of the door and he goes, and I want you to smear it. And so when the spirit of death crosses, it cannot go in your home. It's just going to cross over. And I just wanted to teach you that because God always protects his children and if you asked Jesus to be in your heart and you are a daughter of God, then you have that protection of God. What is that? The blood of the lamb is Jesus. All we have to declare if you're a mother or if you're a wife or if you're um, a single person or whatever you are, whoever you are, all you have to just say, Lord, I plead the blood over my home. I like to also get oil or, you know, something and just say, Lord, I plead the blood over my car, my family, my children. I don't have children, but this is what you can say. And you have that power in you. And I just want to remind you that that spirit of fear that maybe you're carrying, maybe right now financially, because a lot of jobs are um, canceling right now. A lot of jobs, um, a lot of people depend and we have to remember that God is our source in the midst of trouble. God is our source in the midst of chaos. It seems maybe like chaos right now and you're looking at the media, you're looking at everything, but God wants to remind you today to not be afraid. And it says this in Joshua 1 verse 9, which if you think about K -co what you think about COVID-19, Joshua 1, 1 verse 9 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For wherever you go, I will be with you. Aren't you thankful that God is with us? And the reason why I want to share this is that being a daughter of God, you have privileges to his blood, You have, which is the protection. And I want to remind you that Maybe financially it might look crazy. Maybe right now everything just seems like it's going downhill. But this does not surprise God. He has something in store for you. He has a quick turnaround. And the Bible says that God will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. Not our job, not our source, not all these things. No, God is our source. And I want you to be reminded that maybe you're fearful. Maybe everything has closed, whatever. We'll take those times that you're waiting on the process. You're waiting for what's next. Take it and spend time with God. Start spending time with your family. Start writing down your goals. Start decluttering your room, decluttering things. Use that time to grow yourself. Read a book. Do something, but don't have fear. Just walk in faith. It is a time that maybe, hey, 
The churches are closing. Things are closing. But we are the church. We are daughters of God. And we have the command to change things. So I encourage you. Do not be afraid. Don't allow the enemy. Don't allow media to change your perspective of who God is. God is bigger in this. And he will get us through. We are going to see a victory. You know that song? I'm going to see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Hey, it's not our battle. It's God's battle. Yes, I encourage you through this. Wash your hands through this. Be um, in precaution. Obey the law. Order the steps. But don't be afraid. So with that being said, I know I do different videos, but I really feel in my heart that someone needed to hear this and be reminded that you are a daughter of the king. Believe me, he does not let the spirit of fear or the spirit of death touch you or harm you because we carry the precious blood of Jesus. So if you enjoy this message and you were encouraged, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Help me get to my goal of a thousand subscribers. That will be a blessing. Share it with somebody. Let somebody know I am having a conference coming up on June 20th in Dallas, Texas. Girl, it's going to be vendors, photo booths, fun, encouraging, powerful messages. I'm going to put the flyer. Keep that in prayer. We're going to, if anything changes, we will let you know. Follow my Instagram. Follow our Instagram, Fashion by God, or follow my Instagram so you can be encouraged. Girl, believe me that you are not alone. If you need prayer, send me a prayer request. Text me a prayer request. I will love to pray and agree with you. Don't forget to choose faith over fear while everything's going on. It's going to clear up and we're going to see a victory. Thank you for tuning in. And girl, God took time on you because he did. Amen. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Someone say I'm made in fashion by God. It's not what you wear that adds value to you. It's who you are that makes you valuable. Because everything that I make is valuable. When you're wounded, no matter what happens in life, no matter what storms hit, you are standing there and saying, nope, nothing's gonna shake me. for you was the lion of Judah. Do you understand, my daughter, that you are mine, I am yours, and you look like your father, and there's going to be a roar that comes out of you, and there is nothing and nobody that can stop.